To calculate the length of the line segment with endpoints negative 8, 12 and second point 1, 0, we're going to be using a quite well-known formula for calculating the length of a line segment. Here's just a quick reminder. If we're given a line segment, and I'll just draw a quick x-y grid here, x and y, if we're given a line segment between two points A and B, and if we call the point A, or rather if A has coordinates x1, y1, and B has coordinates x2, y2, then the formula for the length of a line segment tells us that the length AB will be equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And remember, it was the square root of all that. So, looking back at our example, we were given the two points, which were negative 8, 12, and 1, 0. So, if I were to draw those on an xy grid, it's always a good idea to do this, even on, even on scrap paper, just to get a rough idea of what we're working with. If I draw an xy grid here, the point negative 8, 12 would be, let's say, roughly here, and the point 1, 0 would be on the x-axis, let's say it's there. And so, the line segment that we're actually interested in right now would look something like this. So that's our objective right now. We want to find the length of that purple line segment. Now, if we go ahead and call this first point with coordinates negative 8, 12, I'll call that point 1, and I'll call the second point with coordinates 1, 0, we'll call that point 2, then the horizontal step between the two points, which I'm drawing right now, is going to be equal to x2 minus x1. If I write that on the side here, x2 minus x1 is going to be equal to, well, x2 is the x-coordinate of the second point, and x1 is the x-coordinate of the first point. So that's going to be equal to 1 minus negative 8. That leads us to 1 plus 8, which leads us to 9. So I can now add this to my quick sketch here. x2 minus x1 equals to 9. In a similar way, I'm now looking for the y step, or the vertical step, as we go from one end of the line segment to the next. So the vertical step between these two points is going to be this right here, which I've drawn in orange. And this vertical step is given by y2 minus y1. Remember, this is point 2 and this is point 1. So y2 in this case is going to be the y-coordinate of the second point, which is 0 and y1 will be the y-coordinate of the first point, which is 12. So, y2 minus y1 is equal to 0 minus 12, which leads us to negative 12. So the length of the line segment, remember, is given by the formula x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, and it's the square root of all that. We now have values for both x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1. We've just calculated them up here in orange and green. So if I replace these by their values, x2 minus x1 was 9, so that's going to become 9 squared. And y2 minus y1 was negative 12, so that will lead us to negative 12 squared. Be very careful. When you deal with negative numbers, make sure you put that negative number inside parentheses. Otherwise, you may forget to square it properly. This will then lead us to the square root of 81 plus 144, which in turn is equal to the square root of 225. And if needs be, use your calculator here. That will be equal to 15. So, the length of this line segment, this purple line segment, is 15 units of length. And there you go.